Welcome, welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's video we won't be in logic and there won't be tips and tricks and sound design and cool libraries or musical walkthroughs. No, in today's video I would like to show you how you can make a video using two cameras and then synchronize them very easily with a simple trick and even with a very simple tool like in this case iMovie on the Mac. And stick with me until the end because at the very end there will be even a little bonus trick how to enhance your setup. This video is part of the prize draw of our Christmas challenge which I did with Chris Houston from Implied Music. And you know we draw the winners and then a review from the greatest flute player of all times. <laughs> Marion Oliver. Oh, wonderful. Oliver. My, old, my old friend Marion, an old student of mine from many years past. Oh, I, I, I love her. Great songwriter and pianist. She and was a student of yours. Yeah, yeah, and she plays flute very, very well. She's a professional flute player, plays piano, sings. I, I could take some lessons from her then. Maybe. Totally good. It's transverse flute, not recorded. Yeah, yeah. But, but she's... And Marion was one of the winners, and she won a review from my side of one of her songs. But what to say? The song that she sent me, I really like it a lot. The piano playing is perfect. Her voice is perfect. There wouldn't be much to rant about. But I noticed a detail about her videos. There's been a rain can bring me down. It's cold outside without you around. Shine on me like a beacon of sun. Shine on me till the day. So we agreed that it won't be a review about her music, but a review about her video quality and how she can enhance it. And the simplest thing that came to my mind right from the beginning as she's playing the piano, two cameras might be pretty cool. So on the one you see her in front of her piano playing and singing and the other one then maybe moving around or simply showing her fingers. You can find the link to her channel in the description and I suggest subscribe to her channel. You won't regret it because she's really making good videos and there are even some funny videos which I pretty much enjoyed. So even me normally when I make my videos I have two cameras set up. One is this one on a tripod and the other one is there on a tripod, my face cam. When you see me talking right into the camera, but normally when we do outdoor shots, there's one camera on a tripod and the other one is in this pretty cool frame. It's my cell phone in there and you can use it really stable and can make nice shots. And normally it's Rebecca operating it. And for today's video, we had a setup in her room. There was one camera on a tripod standing and the other camera I was operating just walking around her to have the source material of two cameras. The most important trick if you work with two cameras is this one. Clap twice in your hand and you will see right away why. So once you have your scene filmed, yeah, then you import the material into your, in this case iMovie, because I know that Marian is working with iMovie, I named those clips B, which is me moving with the camera, and A, which is just the material on the tripod. And if I start with the material on the tripod and then I use the second camera on top, I think you see already why we clapped two times in the hand you can easily spot the clapping from the audio curves. Command plus, you can zoom in with command minus, you can zoom out of your working area and then the only thing you have to do is drag those two precisely that they match. Listen. It's synchronized. 
as easy as that. You have your two cameras synchronized by the clap in the audio file and then you start editing to your likings like um, we have the hands here we won't see them she starts to play and then I start to move around so I suggest command B you can cut we can throw this away in the video we start where she already plays if you would like to have another transition to start in you just choose one we have the movement around her that's enough we stop the movement here maybe command B then you can drag this and another trick you have those two handlebars on top of the video if you use them then the video gets even faded in you see and fade it out maybe like this really slowly there she continues and camera run they obviously you see me walking in so maybe you know I did this mistake we can do it like this we go here to that scene again then I cut here I drop here but I think you get the idea how it is to work with two cameras so you have again the camera from behind you have the close camera if the cameraman is as stupid as me walking into the picture then you have to trick a little bit around but the most important thing was to show how you can synchronize those two cameras there again I'm me walking in you see that's it that's it it's as easy as that to work with two cameras than in iMovie. Once those two files are synchronized at the beginning. Now there's a really little bonus tip. Get some colored lights into your videos. I have this blue light around my table. I have the lamp up there with the remote control where I can change the color. I have the ever color changing LED lamp up there. So just get one of those inexpensive LED lights which you place then on the one or the other side of your fixed camera setup. You will see it enhances the picture a lot. And that's it from my side. Make good music always. Make good videos always. Marion, now we are all waiting for your next video to see you working with two cameras. And see you in the next video or the next live stream. Bye bye.